Chris Martin. Oh, you're kidding me. September. Kyle Lafferty. Are you joking oh! me? Is that right? I know. Is that right? Ah. Uh, Anybody else? Leash, was it? Like, that is one of the most stupid questions. <laughs> Darius Vassell? Seriously, you all need to just stay quiet. This is getting really annoying doing this quiz. What is going on here? <laughs> 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 Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome along to the shoutiest segment on Irish Radio. It's the scintillating, it's the stupefying, it's the splendido crappy quiz. Was that a bit, bit emotional for you? Yeah. Was emotional like? Yeah. Was it? Not it really. is, yeah. Every Friday we put three of uh, Team Off the Ball up against each other in our no-holds-barred quiz of sporting factoids at the end of the week. And allow me to welcome, this is, this is just the most remarkable of days to be in a position where Shane is amongst the contestants. Really what, is incredible. What a day. And I'm going to introduce our contestants for you now, for everybody who's listening. Our first contestant insisted that he be here this morning to give Owen his final quiz send-off and his favourite of all the weekdays. He's also insisting they be given a seat at the hallowed altar of the football pod where he can lay claim to all of his recent theories like Jack O'Connor was destined to win Sam in 2022, no matter which of the great counties he was managing. And if just Shane Walsh, the Cliffords, Rian O'Neill and Stephen Cluxton are on 2019 could be parachuted into this Kildare team, they can end the great 90 year, 94-year famine. Give it up for the tyrant... Jerry Gilroy. Is, um, are you not writing the intros anymore, Owen? Is that... <laughs> <laughs> mine are... Mine are snappy. Never. That was snappy. That, that actually is just like... I was, when I heard that, I was like, that sounds remarkably like something I would write. It's long, well, That's the biggest out. compliment that I could... All oh, right, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Our next contestant is also muscled in on the I'm considering my life choices buzz, where once his internal monologue frothed over whether Conor McManus or Nudie Hughes was the greatest gift to life as we know it, whether after all that he was more Jimmy McGill or Saul Goodman, now he spends his time plotting to overthrow Oliver Callan as the greatest living mind on the time and works of Patrick Kavanagh. It's the Monaghan machete, Shane Hannan. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Owen, on your last day. Very much. For the radio listeners, you should explain, everybody should explain. There is, You're right there, there behind is, uh, the shades there, Shane. There is a pair of sunglasses this morning, folks, and uh, they will be staying put. I was in Ryan's of Camden Street after Owen's... Uh, oh, So I joined the Kerry Mafia. I was the only person from off the ball who uh, partook in the uh, the after-after party. Oh, so, right. um, yeah, so I'm, I'm feeling I'm feeling a wee bit testy today, but, it, but it's OK. The sunglasses help. What time do they legally serve to? <laughs> I th- like half to. I don't know, but I was there until about four. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it could have been any time, Jerry. To be honest, but uh, yeah, it was a great, great night's crack with the Kerry Mafia. Yeah. Uh, Owen very wisely had gone to bed. You sound so. rough. Yeah, the the voice is <laughs> a bit can't gravelly. Mask it. Yeah, yeah, I'm going for that. I don't know what. <laughs> for for a group who believe in Omerta, they're curiously public about the fact that they're a mafia. You're oh, a there is mafia. no mafia. There, you, you were just talking to actors. Yes. Yeah. 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 They're not real. The fake Kerry Mafia, of course. Our final contestant is here by popular demand. He was literally voted in last week on a poll. He's preparing for the biggest bonfire the island has seen so far this year, decluttering, and he's piled high all of his McGrath Cup programmes for the last 20 years. His DVDs of the All-Ireland Finals in 97, 2000, 04, 07, 14 and 22. That pair of Jack O'Shea All-Ireland worn jocks that he bought at auction and even his Kerry Mafia badge and gun have all been piled high as he prepares to jet out of Farm 4 next week. What's rare is beautiful. Give it up for the fiery starter, the twisted fiery starter. On Shane. Nice, thank you, Adrian. That was a nice intro. I'm going to clap myself, yeah. I'm, uh, it's just emotional. Are you nervous about being, I was a bit sort of edgy last I'm week about nervous. hosting. Are you edgy? I'm not nervous whatsoever because I know what's going to happen here. I'm going to get absolutely screwed over, and that's fine. You need to have your moment in the sun. Everybody needs to laugh at me, and I get it. I get it. I'm the heel, I'm the clown. Win, yeah, we have to let him I'm win. I'm the. Yeah. Um, it's going to let you win on you. Even you can't I'm, screw up. I'm this. the. Uh, this is just going to. This is supposed to end badly for me, so I get it. I accept You'll always have the poem, Owen. You'll Jonathan always have the poem. is here, and the second coming of Jesus Christ has arrived, and he has decided that no, I am not getting into the pearly gates today. There's going to be a lot of Wolfsburg and Wolfsburger questions. <laughs> hope so. As ever, the format is the classic crappy quiz. We're making no exceptions today with a series of questions on a range of themes. Then it's on to the slip and slide of trivia, as you know, the rapid fire round. Podcast the crappy quiz on otbsports.com. It's on the OTB Sports app. And if you're watching on YouTube, please do make sure to uh, click the thumbs up. And if we continue nothing but misery to your day, do that and was recommend there, it to a friend. And was there something the about gaining? One of the Kerry Mafia wanted me to do a round of questions about you to you. And um, was there something about the game in 2014 in Tyrone? Was there something? 2014 in Tyrone? Yeah. Something oh, unrelated. Yeah. What would have happened in 2014 in Tyrone? I don't know. Maybe 15. Uh, 15 in Tyrone. The night was getting away from us. Anyway, 
I don't remember. Um, now more than ever, we need you to send in your questions because Owen is leaving and we've nobody else to write the quiz. So uh, send a postcard to Crappy Quiz, Quizmaster, Off the Ball Towers, Marconi House, Diggs Lane, Dublin 2, and we are welcoming all of those. We're going to kick off with the boring questions round, if everybody's ready. The ideas are never uh, multiple choice. We're going to start off with you, Shane. Question one for you. Who's the oldest player to score a Premier League goal? Oh, for God's sake, this is a ridiculous question. This is so easy. This is for me, as oh, both Shane or Shane? Don't. Who are you being there on? I'm going to call you Shane, yeah, really crappy and I'm quiz going to man. call him Owen. Owen. Yeah. Oldest Premier League player to score a Premier League. Oh, come on, get out with it. Come on, ridiculous question. It. I mean, at least working... It's nice to be on the other side, Owen, isn't it? Um, you should pick a character and stick to it. Go on. <laughs> I'm just generic crappy quiz contestant. Who's the oldest Premier oh, League player to score a goal? I mean, in fairness... <laughs> 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 come on, Shane. Come no, on. I'm going to finish on minus points this morning, just so, so everyone's aware. Uh, Dennis Wise. Ridiculous. Do you know the answer, Owen? It's not my question, is it? James Miller? Anybody? No. Garrett Barry? No. Anybody? Ger being <laughs> your wheelhouse. Teddy Sheringham ah. at the age of 40. Question one for you, Ger. Can you name the last Cork club to win the Munster Club Hurling Championship? Last Cork club to win the Munster Club Hurling Championship. Um, has there been anybody since New Tom Chandram? Um, has there been anybody? New Tom Chandram. Pronunciations oh. will be will be accepted. Newton Chandram beat uh, Bally Gunner in 2009. Jer mm. is off the mark. Question one for you, Owen. Katie Taylor's most recent opponent in the pro ranks was Amanda Serrano, ah. who she beat at the uh, at Madison Square Garden, of course, earlier this year. But can you name all of Kerry's All-Ireland winning managers since and including 2000? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on! Oh, all of their All-Ireland winning, all winning managers? Yes, since and including 2000. Paddy O'Shea, Jack O'Connor, Pat O'Shea, Eamon Fitzmaurice. Ding, ding, ding. Ah, come on. That was such well a challenging question. You see, it's fixed. Like, we see, it's like, fixed. I mean, oh, not, not right? even a bit of jeopardy for the people oh, who. Oh, do. Well, listen, there was a challenge. There was a out challenge of bed there early this he, morning. He stood up yeah. to the challenge. After round one, we have Shane on zero points and Jerron leading the way. We should combine our, our forces here just to ruin this because yeah. yeah. this is too easy. It's too no, much of a stitch up. It's just a nice little. No, too much of a stitch up. Now, into round two, the Wikipedia list round. This game is simple. I'm going to list from Wikipedia. The fun free magic numbers round. What age is Owen Sheehan? What date is his birthday? How old are his parents? Various facts about an unnamed sports person. Your job is to guess who that unnamed sports person is. So the first person to correctly do that was going to win the point. One major rule here, as you're aware, to avoid the complete carnage of guessing a of a guessing free for all, each contestant must state their own nickname uh, before guessing a player. What's my what's course, a, uh, this a... is Crappy Quiz, so your names are your Crappy Quiz nicknames. Monhen Machete, a tyrant, and the fiery starter. The twisted fiery starter. <laughs> you've, got to say, you've got to do the, the double barrel one. What is what? What, is, what does that even mean? What does that mean? There's a lot what of syllables in Monaghan Machete, like a... Are you the time it's going to take me to say what? that. Anyway, all good. You have to say fiery starter, the twisted fiery starter. I don't know yeah. what, what, what What's your question about your nickname? I don't get it. I am the fire starter. It's probably just a fantasy song. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus, <laughs> Owen, somebody as cultured now as yourself who, like, well, like, Fred used to be man like, like oh, hey, yeah. man, have you heard of Fred again? It's like, I don't even know. Who? Who? I, Wolfsburger. Quite, I'm suddenly questioning the last seven years of our, <laughs> our work together. He's a bit, he's a bit pissed. <laughs> 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 that was a, if somebody could hours. manage Shane's mic outside, that, that, would, uh, that, would, <laughs> that would help. Come on. It's not the last time I'm going to say it, probably, either. <laughs> Uh, failure to uh, shout your nickname is going to eliminate you from that particular round of the quiz. So you're going to... What's the I'm going to give you one uh, one clue, OK? And it's about an unidentified sports person. And with each clue, you have an opportunity to shout out your nickname yeah, and guess who that might be. Yeah. And can we do... Can I... You can guess as many times as you want. Yeah, OK. Yes, yeah. sports person. You okay. can guess as many times as you want overall, but one guess per clue. Make sense? You've obviously watched a lot of the Krabby Quiz recently, Ger. I was away. Um, right, question two for whoever shouts their nickname first. Clue one. He was born May 16th, 1955. A tyrant, Polly O'Shea. Wow. Correct. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> <What the hell? laughs> May 16th. This is not how this quiz is supposed to go, Jerry. May 16th. If you can play ball, all the greats. It's my birthday. birthday. <laughs> oh, well, that's, that oh, explains wow. it. <laughs> He's battering the world. I'm out of here. He's battering the world. I'm out of here. I'm Just done. give him the quiz. Come on, we reviewed so I, I shouldn't have told you that it was my birthday because that was the giveaway. I'm <laughs> no. like, hang on a second. This is one of two people. You should have just said that was the information that sat in your memory bank. 
Hope right, come on, come on, Jerry, you're off well, to the same year as well. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, no, very impressed. Sh- We're off the mark there. We're starting to feel my role as a contestant here. Yeah. Yeah. Nick felt yeah. last week when oh, he when I he guessed banter. Ashley yeah. Young Jokes. after the first clue that I didn't give him enough credit. So well done, Jerry. That's, well that's done, that was a good answer. Yeah. Uh, question two for whoever shouts their nickname first. He is Kerry's all-time top scorer in National Football League history. A tyrant, Mick O'Dwyer. Oh my God, Owen, are you alive over there? <laughs> <laughs> Yet another one. There you go. Well, that was obvious. I mean, Mico, Mico. not to these two. I mean, I know he's asleep, but like, what's happening <laughs> over here? This, this Mico didn't get the credit as a footballer. Quick, quick motion, quick skills. <laughs> this, is, this is not going to work not, for not me. Not in your wheelhouse. No, this isn't in my wheelhouse here at all. I haven't got a question incorrect yet. <laughs> right, question two. Uh, what is Owen's middle name? Two. <laughs> Who for whoever shows the nickname first? His autobiography is entitled A Kerry Footballer. Mona Machete. Yeah. Morris Fitz. Uh, fair play though for the for twist and fiery out. starter yeah. Pat Spillane no he played club football for 25 years a tyrant Jack O'Shea incorrect when he won the first of his four All-Ireland medals it ended what had been a four year famine a tyrant Kerry. Tomas O'Shea incorrect he was named midfield in the GEA's tyrant. team of the century it's the fiery Tyrant starter Mick no. O'Connell correct at last, Owen, for fuck, Jesus Christ. Stop with it. We're, we're just every broadcast on the radio, if you swear. Sorry, I'm, stop swearing. Um, well done, Owen. Fair play. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Good on you for turning questions. up. Yeah. Uh, that was, uh, I mean, Owen, Mick O'Connell, there were some other things you could have said about Mick O and his relationship with this show. Just well, after that, it was for, like... For future reference. I was going to mention Anton Deck. I was going to say he was from Valencia. That was my last one. Ah. Um, so, anyway, we got there. We didn't need all of that. We got there in the end. So, well done, Jared. Fair play. You've actually turned up today, unlike Hannon, who's <laughs> fast, drunk and fast asleep in the corner there. Uh, Jer's leading the way on three points, Owen's on two points, and Hannon has yet to get off the mark. Mm-hmm. So, on to the uh, round three, past the parcel of doom round, and in this round, all you've got to do is give me the name that's on the list of names that I have here in front of me. Uh, the parcel of doom passes on to the next contestant who also has to give me a name, and we'll keep moving through the list until one of you gives me an incorrect answer. How do you think Or this... passes, at which point that person How do you will think be eliminated. audition is going, Owen, and you're free now. There's a point in this about this we, don't last to, ever, we don't need to give them your last ever show with Adrian, so you can tell the truth. How do you think this audition is going? I'm, when really, two pl- I'm really enjoying this. When, when two players are eliminated, <laughs> the like remaining it. player gains a point. <laughs> Everybody clear about how the pass... Par- yeah. par- par- Shane Jerome is the order for the first way we're going to go here. Is that all right? Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can you name any Kerry All Ireland winning I captain? To say, just, starting from, Jesus. starting from, and including 1975. Any it? Kerry All Ireland winning captain, starting from and including 1975. There are 15 options here. Oh, this, this is like cheapening the quiz. What you're doing? Uh, Hand on the victory. I'm too. fairly certain the chiz, the jizz, <laughs> the quiz could not be, uh, could not be cheapened any further. You said at least, cheese, at least, no, breathe, absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. correct. Yeah. Yeah. Start with like, me. It's like, it's like my puppy is being murdered in front of my eyes here. <laughs> and you're doing nothing to intervene, it turns out, on so... No. Shane, oh, come on. Jesus. Uh, Darren O'Sullivan. Correct. Declan O'Sullivan. Correct. Sean O'Shea. Correct. Shane. <laughs> Uh, I know you're scribbling like are you just drawing little doodles on yeah, the yeah, basically just you? signing my signature here uh, writing poetry Shane Ryan who's Shane Ryan <laughs> you, I said no. Kerry All-Ireland winning sorry, captain sorry, Colin Cooper that's me gone is it yeah. that is absolutely yeah. you gone uh, Colin Cooper Absolutely. is not correct not correct no it was easy win for Owen to be could, could, could you go the full you're in Leary and Fitzgerald wasn't it yeah, it's Jump Fitzgerald as well. Uh, 75, so you would have had Spillane after 75, obviously. You would have had Pawdy after 75. You would have had Seamus Moynihan. Spillane? No. He's not here, no. Ooh. Oh my God, that would have been the next one. No, no, you'd have been out. No, I wouldn't. I was going to go Moynihan next. Moynihan, you, you would have been all right. Safe territory. Yeah, fine. yeah. yeah. 04 on. Oh, Canada. Yeah. Uh, Liam Hassett, Tommy Doyle, uh, Pawdy, Ambrose Donovan, Jimmy Deenan, Ger Power, Tim Kennelly, Augie, and Mickey Ned. Ah, uh, yes. In 75. So the point there goes to Owen, come on. Soccer, yeah. Owen gets We're getting the, back on track here now. The Kerry, Feel yeah. a bit more comfortable. The fix is in, ladies and gentlemen. The fix is in. There is no jeopardy here. Turns. Right, uh, this order now is Jer, Owen, Shane, Hannon. Uh, and the question is, there are 12 teams in Division 1 of the Kerry Senior Football Championship. Oh, for God's sake. Name them. And I'm not looking for amalgamated teams here. I'm looking for actual club teams. Club so teams. don't be giving me any of your old guff, yeah. 
uh, 12 club teams. In the Division 1 of the Kerry Senior Football Championship. This I've no is, idea whether is, this relates to 2022 or 2023. I might, I might start tanking but, here, lads, because this is... Cairns or Rallies? Yeah. Me next. Yeah. Crooks. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> is he all right? I have a number of teams uh, written down, but how am I supposed to know if these are like? Well, I'd say just uh, take your take. Lawn Rangers. Uh, Lawn Rangers are not in Division One of the Kerry Senior Football Championship. <laughs> uh, Austin Stacks. Austin Stacks. My goal. To be fair, he's right. Austin Stacks for you, Jer. On. <laughs> Fuck's sake! Oh, brilliant. Spa. Yeah, is that how they're pronounced? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure they are. Right, Ger. Oh, I'm not going to get one of these wrong. Um, there's, there's, there's a couple of really obvious options here now, but anyway, look. Oh, Jesus, lads. Uh, so what have we got? We've got Cairns Rallies, we've got... Uh, Stacks are done, Dr. Crouch done, Spa are done, Cairns Rallies. Spa, you're out. I still have a list of me. Actually, yeah, good point. Um, <laughs> That's right. <what I> <laughs> He's just—it's literally just a lot of scribbles. It's like if you can read my writing. None of them are. None of them are senior. Foss yeah, aren't senior. Right. Dingle aren't senior. Uh, on Gael talk. Correct. Yeah. Oh. Oh, look at him shaking his head. Oh. Uh, can mayor. Correct. <sighs> um. Who does? Who does? Uh, who tends to know better? I mean, I don't know what. I, I'm, I'm going to take a loose stance to conferring here, and I'm going to allow it given the. Do we do, we do stacks? The quiz. The stacks? Have we done stacks? I, I'll, stacks are done. Yeah. Stacks, yeah okay. That club there, but it could be intermediate now. Who does James Dunne who play for? I'm yeah. going to say Fossa, but I know it's not right. Uh, you are correct. It is not right. Oh. <laughs> um, I mean, just that so you've, you've got the point in the bag. Uh, Nigel Dingle. Dingle, our senior club. Yeah, are they? Yeah. Um, Damn, I should have said it. Legion's I mean, no, thing no. was James' club, but they're not, they're not senior. Yeah, Killarney Legion. Legion. They're not senior, are they? Well, they're in Division 1 of the Kerry Senior Football Oh, it's County so. League. Well, I don't know what it is, but that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, according to the Temple Kerry no. GA website, Division one that's another point for you, Owen. You're, uh, you're really beginning to assert your dominance here in your in this this specific is, this area. Is so this is, this is actually the most embarrassing thing I've ever been Question involved. three for you. Uh, it's going to start with you, Owen, and then it's going to move on to you, Hannon, and you'll be out at that point, and then it'll right. move on to Ger after that. So this one is a list of 25 names. It's Kerry uh, Football <laughs> All-Stars since and including oh. 2009. Oh, Jesus. Famous year, 2009. Kerry All-Star since and including 2009. <sighs> Owen, Hannon, Jer. And should we go with Gooch anyway? Yeah. I give up, lads. Um, since 2009, Kerry All-Stars, James O'Donoghue. Yeah. Uh, I am going to go with... So you've got Gooch, James O'Donoghue. I'm going to go with since 2009 and including 2009. Yeah. So Tomas... Yeah, in 09. David Clifford. Three All Stars, David Clifford, yeah. Sean O'Shea. 19, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with Stephen O'Brien. No, Stephen oh. O'Brien is not on the list. Paddy Clifford. Correct, 21. Somebody wake Shane up there and tell him he's still in. He's still in the mix. Thomas Sullivan. Um, Thomas Sullivan. Current Thomas Sullivan. Yeah, he just said Thomas Sullivan. Thomas Sullivan. Tom, to current Thomas Sullivan is on the list, Shane. Yeah. Okay, very good. Is the old Thomas Sullivan still not? Did he not get more online? You're out, Jared. I don't know. Um, Donahue. Yeah. Thomas Sullivan. <laughs> the old one. Yeah. Come on, you're in. Yeah. He got one in online. Um. Brendan Keeley got an all star. He did in 15. Oh, Jesus. Ty Canelli. Ty Canelli got one in on oh. Yeah, good man. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, he's sitting uncomfortably now. This, all this point. smack I talk about the shittiest thing I'll he's ever delighted. been involved in, and suddenly Mark he's Roche. like. Mark O'Shea he's... got one in 11, yeah. Crowley. You're doing well, lads. There's. <laughs> <laughs> did we say Darrow O'Shea yet? Just checking if he said it. 
Uh, don't we think, didn't, I said Tomas. Dara Shea has not been said. But Dara. I'd say I'd say Dara I'd say Dara was, oh. was gone by. I'll allow the conferring, that's 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 fine. Okay, yeah, 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 I'm not gonna go with Dara, I'm just I'm just talking out loud there. Go for Crowley. I'll go for Crowley maybe. What's his first name? No, it's none of your business. <laughs> Which, no, I'll accept I'll accept Crowley, Peter Crowley and Forty. Peter, that's yeah, it, Peter, centre back. Peter. Jeez, yeah. Uh Paul Murphy. In fourteen, yeah. Oh, nice. You're gonna have to try Dara. He, I think he's gone. Yeah. <laughs> Blackboard jungle levels of conferring it's gonna, stage. It's, it's gonna be it's gonna be Darrow Shea. Go on. Darrow Shea, you're saying Darrow Shea is incorrect. Ah we knew it. Yes, we you were, I'd say you were on your uppers there close enough, were you? No, I, I did a couple more. Go on. Moore and Maher yeah. both got them, I think. Ah. Anthony Maher 15. I didn't have a hope. You were Moran. just teasing me. I forgot about Moran. Paul Ganey. Ganey, of course. Donica Walsh, Shane Enright, Darren O'Sullivan, Brian oh. Sheehan. Declan O'Sullivan, I couldn't believe that you didn't. Jesus, give we him said them both earlier. Yeah. Uh, Paul Galvin, Seamus Scanlon, and Dermot Murphy. Yeah, I won them after all nine, right? So, oh, and you oh, got no, three points there. Well done. That's a shocker. Um, that's Only hauled, three points. That's hauled you into the lead. Uh, you're on five points now. So, well done. Fair play. That's uh, you three points to the top there. No, three points to add to his two points brings up to five points. You remain at three points. And Hannon, who's when he wakes up, we'll tell him he's still on zero points. <laughs> right. <laughs> We are on to round four. This is the shirt numbers round. It's another uh, new and innovative. God, this quiz is long. <laughs> and this round, I'm going to give you the name of a sports person and a team that they played for. All you have to do is give me their shirt number. I wonder what county this will this will. Question feature. four for you, Shane. I'm looking for the number that Gianluigi Donnarumma oh, right. wore in the AC Milan years. This is a, this is your best chance to get off the mark here. Throw me a curveball there. The non carry question. Donnarumma, um, 88. There's an incorrect... Just no, no, I'm asking Shane what... what uh, that's incorrect. Incorrect. Uh. Incorrect. <laughs> incorrect. It was 99, so you were, there was something uh, in your, your uh, wheelhouse there that was good. Uh, question four for you, Ger. The number Peyton Manning wore for the Denver, Bro Denver Broncos. And balls. Chance to tighten the gap here. And you can do it. Put the pressure on. There's a famous line where um, they're at training and they're like, uh, why do we never train with the backup QB? And the line is, well, because if we have to play with the backup QB, we're fucked. If we don't practice, fucked. Apologies for the beat. Jeez, I mean, the line is just is not going on. I was reporting that. I was, I was not actually me sure. saying that. I'm going to say Peyton Manning is 14. You stay on three points. What was Eight, his number? 18 was the answer. Ah! Oh. I question four for you, Owen. Ice hockey is one of the biggest sports in the US, as we know. Wayne Gretzky, of course, one of the most famous players that the game has known. What number shirt did Colm Cooper wear <laughs> in his last All-Ireland final appearance? Oh, the ill-fated 2015 final against 69. <laughs> this is ridiculous, 420. By the way. This is a farce. Oh, uh, it's got to take his answer. First um, answer only. I mean, to be fair, it's not a, it's not, it's not a, not a one-yard tap-in. Oh, yeah, because he played at 11 for a while, but did he play at 13? Did he go back into corner four for 15? I mean, it's a 50-50 shout. 13. Ding, ding, ding. Go man on. Fair play. The only one who got the, got the numbers wrong this right. This is embarrassing. What was Wayne Gretzky's just a, number? Just a wide breadth of sporting knowledge, really, that's uh, allowing me to succeed Nine today. Really Someone in the YouTube comments tell us what Wayne Gretzky's number is. Would you have known Wayne Gretzky's point. number? Not the, oh, point. Yeah. not the point of the question. Uh, Wayne Gretzky's number is 100 because he said you miss 100% of the shots you that you don't it. take. Excellent. Uh, round number five, the fun-free magic number. On contest, you get three points for getting the number exactly right. If no one manages that, the nearest contestant who doesn't get uh, go bust gets two points, and the second closest get one point. Again, I'm going to say that we can only accept the answer that is written on the page in front of you. I'm also going to have to ask for your pens once the music ends. That's going to be your icebreaker when you Pretty get to happy. Peru, isn't it? Did you know that Wayne, Wayne Gretzky said you miss 100% of the shots? You know, like, after that... What are you saying? The gates will open for it's you. It's already my uh, uh, icebreaker. Gooch. It'll be all gooch yeah. chat. The, the uh, here we go. So, what? if you don't mind, give us the following, the following number. I missed it. The number of Kerry's All-Ireland football titles, plus... Are you still drawing pictures over there? Sure. Yeah, just painting here. The number of All-Irelands won by the great Declan O'Sullivan, oh, plus the number of Kerry's All-Ireland senior hurling titles, plus the number of Celtic League slash Pro 12, 14, 16 slash URC titles that Munster have won. Your 30 seconds will expire when Sinatra sings bright, shiny beads. And just to recap, Kerry's number of total All-Ireland titles, football. Number of All-Ireland won by the great Declan O'Sullivan. 
total number of Kerry County senior hurling titles made. All the Ireland senior. Parties, essentially, or whatever predated that. So they win. And Munster's Celtic wins. Oh, and it's the pen down already. This is a farce, by the way. Everybody has the pens down. Shane, what have I, you got? I've gone for 48. 48, Shane. Jer. 43. 43, Jer. Owen. 50. 50 for Jer. 50 for Owen, I should say. So two of you are bust. Ah. And Jer gets the. What, does he, what do oh. you get for that? How many points does he get for that, Owen? Two. Two points for that, which brings him right back into the mixer here. Um, so I don't know exactly where you, were, where you were going with all of that there, lads. But You uh, tell us, you tell us your answer there. Yeah, <laughs> Kerry All-Ireland football titles. 38. Declan O'Sullivan. Five. Hurling. One. Monster. Six. One. What? Monster. One. How many have they won? Yeah. One. <laughs> no. <laughs> three. So Is I don't know where all? you were going with the rest three of them it. right and I still went post. What was the number? What was the answer? 47 was the answer, sorry. Was one off. I'm not used to doing this. Um, right, well, that leaves us in a fairly interesting position that I didn't really expect us to be in as we head into the, uh, the, the <laughs> final round. <laughs> because Owen, hasn't, Owen and Shane have not really turned up. No. And Jer is uh, shooting the lights out. I got three of those numbers right. Is Owen not in the lead, though? <laughs> he, he, is, he is in the lead. He is no, in the lead. No, no, he is, he is. Owen starts the... And I mean, we, I've, What's the score? I've, I've had to re-engineer this either way if it wasn't the case, but he is just slightly ahead. He's on six points. You're on is five on points. Six? I thought he was on five. And Owen, I'll just sit back here. And Shane is on... Hold on uh, to news talk any minute now, I think. Shane is on, on zero. Well, they right. A winner tonight is going to be decided in the no t uh, team in particular. Ridiculously easy rapid fire round. The score that you get in this round is going to be added to score in the previous round. 40 seconds for everyone to answer from the same set of questions. We're going to start with the person with the highest number of points that you own, then on to the person second, Jer, and then we'll wake Shane up at the end and tell oh. him that it's all over and he's been beaten. And if you get a question correct, I'm going to ask you another question. Keep asking questions, get one wrong. And once you get a question wrong, we'll the next person the incorrect answer will also mean the deduction of one point. Right. Uh. Owen, are you ready? I am so, so ready. You're ready for this. Your 40 seconds starts now. Which former Kerry footballer went on to play for Munster, for Munster in Ireland? Mick Galway. Which recently retired TV pundit has the most football all-stars? Pat Bellan. Who is the only person to have won the, an All-Ireland title and an AFL Premiership? Tyg Kennelly. The infamous Irish priest Damon Casey was born in which beautiful <laughs> Irish village? I actually don't know. You're, uh, you're uh, from there. Uh, Fireys. Radio Kerry's Marquee <laughs> GA show is called. What's that again? Radio Kerry's Ma Marquee GA uh, show. Earth Talk. Name the Irish competitor who finished ninth in the marathon at the LA Games in 1984. Uh, Jerry Kieran. Uh, <laughs> some more questions there in the back of the sheet. Uh, name either of Kerry, um, Kerry Women's this. joint managers. Name any of what? Either of Kerry Women's joint managers. Declan Quill. Uh, Neil Amar Herting is from Tralee or Dingle? Dingle. Oh, that is a full sweep of great Well done, Owen Sheehan. Oh, yeah. yeah. Rapid fire. Congratulations. Wow. Yay. Well 13 points yet. Well, well, well earned. Fantastic. Fantastic. But I know a lot about all sports. Owen, it's been an emotional seven years. Yeah, I'm being waved out of here. Beautiful human being. Well, yeah, well, they can wait. Congrats. They didn't show up to your drinks last night. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, they really didn't. He wants um, to leave on a high. You can't let Pat down. We understand that. Yeah, thanks very Thanks much. a million. Really no, enjoyed it. You. Good luck that with your travels. Really, we have another really few days to work together, so let's not get too emotional. Um, well done and win the crappy quiz. Yeah, no, thanks very much. I we were supposed it. to get like maximum points from the entire thing. I engineered it. If you you did well. The crappy quiz will be back in its normal state. It won't. Soon. It won't. That's the reality in some sort of shape or form.